Hello Daily Drafters and welcome back to the channel for today's Daily Draft. We are beginning the first full week of Bloomboro Drafts here on the channel. This is Monday and there's our third total draft. We're on a hot streak and we're going to look to continue that hot streak. So let's start with Wick the World Mind. It's a 4 mana 2-4 rat build around. So it is a rat build around but you do need Grixis mana to take advantage of it fully to sacrifice the snails to draw cards and deal damage. There's also Mouse Trapper which is a pretty good build around for the red-white deck. Not a build around, just a card in the red-white deck. What else we got? Star Charter for bats, quite good as well. Agate Assault in the common slot. Four mana, three, four, expend four, deals two damage. Eddie Merc Crab seems fun, but I do think blue-red, which is where this is best, is one of the worst decks in the format, unfortunately. I think I'm going to start with Mouse Trap. You know what? I'm going to start with Wick. I, I think... A week from now, I could take Mouse Trapper, and it's probably going to be the, the correct thing to do. But then we get past another blue-black rare, rat rare. So four mana, two, three, four, ward two. If a creature an opponent controls would die, you exile it. Beginning of each end step, you create X rats that get plus one, plus one for each other rat you control, where X is the number of creatures your opponent that were exiled this your opponent controlled that were exiled this turn. Maybe we could wheel the Mind Drill Assailant as well out of this, or even the Night Whirl Hermit. This card, oh no, this isn't one I was thinking of. I was thinking of the 3-2 the that makes your opponent's creatures uh, smaller. That one's been a beating, but I mean, we start with a Rat Rare and then get past another Rat Rare. I mean, I don't think Rats is among the best decks in the format, but it's early enough. I'm willing to try multiple different things, win or lose, because I want to make sure you guys see different kind of archetypes here on the channel. I don't just keep drafting the same thing over and over again. Not that I'm going to force my way out of what's already good and what I've done, but, you know, starting with two Rat Rares seems pretty good. So let's go ahead and take that here. And unfortunately, don't really have much great things to follow that up with. We got Runaway Together. Could be fine. The Night Whirl Hermit is a three mana one four vigilance. As long as there, as long as you have threshold, it's plus one plus zero oh and can't be blocked. I just don't know if I need to take this this early. If this deck is open, I should get this pretty late. And I don't think Agate Blade Assassin really fits in this deck. So what else is there? There's a Hive Spine Wolverine. I mean. That's pretty good. There's also Head of the Homestead to make a 3-2 and 2-1-1s one in Rabbits. Also quite good. I mean, I guess I could take the Hermit. And if I establish myself as the only blue-black drafter at the table, I think I could get there. There's nothing here that's, like, so good that I'm missing out on, like... A ton necessarily in my opinion but there was some decent things so what is this one one mana you return a creature to its owner's hand if you give them a fish it's a non-land permanent not great um, there is saber as a removal spell seems fine skyskipper duo much more for the frogs deck same with poly wallop baker's bane duo is a pretty good green card in general as well Quake Tusk Boar is just a a big card. <laughs> five mana, five five. Reach, Trample, and Haste. Junk Blade Bruiser also a big card here. Again, I, I just I want to see if I can try some th some different things, and this is kind of where I'm headed for the moment. I mean, Psychic Whirl. If there's ever a deck you're gonna play it in, it's gonna be Rats. There's also Moonstone Harbinger, but this is much more for the Bats deck, obviously. Um, and a pretty good card in the Bats deck. But I guess I just take the Psychic Whirl. There's a Wander Tail Mentor. I think there's a path we could have gotten a Green Red in this draft as well. But starting off with two rares that build around rats quite a bit. I think it's hard not to continue down that until we find that it's just like completely not open. This is the card I was thinking of. Mind Whisker. 3 mana, 3, 2. Beginning of your upkeep, you surveil one. And if you have threshold creatures your opponent's control, get minus one, minus oh. It's it's pretty good. I've had it played against me a couple of times, and it's just really annoying, especially if you're going wide with a bunch of rabbit tokens. Like, they just become, like, O ones. So we'll take this here, and 
There's a couple other blue and black cards, but not really anything for our deck. There is a shore up, which we could play, but we're not wheeling anything out of this pack anyway. So we will take the Hermit here. We have another Rat, and this is a really good one for the deck. It's a two mana, one one can't be blocked. And if you have Threshold, uh, you draw a card. And if it you don't have Threshold, you loot when it hits, which is quite good here. Um... A card I'm going to look for pretty heavily is the three mana black uh, draw two or surveil two, draw two, lose two, because that's a way to fill our graveyard. We already have like three cards that care about threshold here. One, two, and three. So we want to make sure we're also filling our graveyard a little bit. Ruthless Negotiation. <clears throat> is kind of a way to do that. It's a cheap one drop that can just get a card out of your opponent's hand. You can mill it. You can surveil it into the yard for a little bit of value. I think it's better than the crab in this deck. So I'll go ahead and take the Ruthless Negotiation here. No rats for us here. There is a Water Spout Warden. Three mana, three, two. Um, when it attacks, it could get flying. There's also a Lizard Combat trick. I'll just go ahead and cut blue. I don't think I'm going to play the share pot. I don't care about that too much in this deck. And we did wheel the hermit. There's also a pond profit. Frogs is looking pretty open too. A late um, polywallop and a pond profit here. But I think our start is just quite good for what for what we got going on. That's a late Baker's Bane duo as well. Still early in the format with some late cards coming around. But I like I like where we're at right now. He says as he opens a pack that's got absolutely nothing for him and several busted cards for other decks. So this is going to be a tough one. Season of the Burrow. Five mana. Get some rabbits, exile permanents to make them draw cards or reanimate things here. This is a changeling, but boy, do I not need to take this. There is actually Patchwork Banner. Three mana. Rats you control get plus one, plus one, and adds one mana of any color. We already have six rats here. There's a take out the trash. Hunter's talent is also really good. Finch formation, whatever. What's this one? Three mana, three, three. Rabbit build around. I mean, Hunter's talent is probably the best card here. Or Season of the Burrow as well. But, like, we're just so far away from that. And I really don't feel like, like ruining my draft in the event of going that direction um all the blue and black cards are not rat build arounds but there is another saver and a dire downdraft here i don't think i need to take the wave rider the flood caller so when this enters target creature you control can't be blocked this turn and then you can blink it too yeah, there, there's some good other directions we could be going. I just want to see if Rats is good because I think what we've got going on is pretty good. Also, the banner helps us splash the activation of Wick, which is pretty good too. I think I might just take the removal spell. I don't think Bandit's talent is very good at all. I could just take Dire Downdraft as well. You know, I'm going to take the Downdraft as opposed to the cheap removal spell and Saber. We already have one of them too. Here's a Hermit. There's also a Mind Drill Assailant. I didn't put it together till just now that the mind drill assailant did not wheel in pack one which is not great you don't really want that to happen also a pick three intrepid rabbit here this card is among the best commons in the set for those of you that don't know and haven't played with or against this it's a three mana three two with offspring one gives plus two plus two to do different things or same thing when it enters if you use the offspring and i say plus two plus two because you rarely ever want to cast this for just three you almost always want to cast it for four Maybe we wheel this Hermit here. But let's try the Mind Drill Assailant. What is this one? Three mana, sacks a creature with the greatest power. If the gift was promised, return target creature from your graveyard to your hand. Not too bad. Light Shell Duo is a Rat Otter, and it surveils two when it enters. And another Rat card here. Four mana, four three with Offspring. <clears throat> another Intrepid Rabbit. Yeah, we could have had a really boring but insanely great white deck here, too. Had I, I think there was, in pack one, I was debating between 
Wick and a white card that I can't remember. And if I had taken the white card, I think we'd have had a pretty darn good deck. But I'm going to take the duo here because it's a rat and it helps us get to um, threshold with the surveil too, which I think is going to be pretty important for our deck. This is the card I wanted at least one of. <clears throat> Dire Sight. Three mana, surveil two, draw two, lose two. That's going to be perfect for our deck here with all the threshold that we already have. I would love a Fable Passage. It puts itself in the graveyard, helps toward Threshold. Shore Up would be fine, probably, and a Dire Downdraft number two, fine, but not super important. But the Dire Sight is very important for the deck. So we will take that. Get another Mind Drill Assailant here. Not too bad. T late Take Out the Trash, Fireglass Mentor. Man, the first week of drafts are always so interesting because for creators like myself who, who know what the good cards are and recognize some of the better archetypes as well. And you see cards like this going super, super late. Granted, I'm adding to the problem because I keep passing them. So maybe it's, it's on me as well, but there's just so many great cards that are going quite late here. But I just, we have a really good deck for what we're, we're trying to build here already. Another take out the trash, yeah. I could take Hidden Grotto to help with the Wick um, Splash here. I just... This also is perfect because it mills two cards, which works super, super well with Threshold. If this wasn't here, I would definitely take and play the Hidden Grotto. But I gotta take the uh, Dagger Fang Duo. Another negotiation. Don't think I need to. Thorn Plate Intimidator is fine. Our curve isn't great right now. We have a lot of fours. So I, I just don't even know if I'm going to play this, but I don't really want to play another Ruthless Negotiation, if we're being honest. The Harvester did wheel, but I just don't think I need to play it. We've got 11 rats already. Although, with the amount of self-mill we could end up with, maybe this will be important to help us not mill ourselves. I'll cut the only card I could even consider playing here. And not completely upset with where we're at. If if I could get a Crystal Grotto and one other way to fix in the last pack, I think that would be, be pretty nice. Maybe one more rat build around. And some more removal, if we're being honest. Some of the black removal would be great. So, okay, got the shore up back if we need to play it. <clears throat> All right, what do we got here? This is one of the black removal spells, Nocturnal Hunger. I think I've got to take it here. It's a three mana, destroy target creature. You can give him a food. If you don't, you lose two life. Kingfisher, not for this deck. Lightshell Duo on the wheel would be nice. Bandit's Talent, no thank you. Seed Pod Squire, His Hidden Grotto on the wheel would be nice. And honestly, Three Tree Mascot might not be horrible if we're just trying... It's a rat. It's a 2-mana, two 2-1 two Shapeshifter Changeling, which is a rat. And you can also use it to uh, activate Wick as well. But I'm going to take the Black Removal spell here. we got to make sure we get at least a couple of removal spells. We currently have three. In the downdraft, the hunger, and the saver. I'd like maybe at least one more. And here is one more. Fell. Two mana. Sorcery. Destroy target creature. We could have had all of the pond profits. <laughs> I do want to play the blue-green frog deck at least once. And today might have been the day to do it. But again, I, I think if rats is going to be good, we have a pretty darn good version of it. Only card I would like to wheel out of here would be early winter. Fountainport Bell might not be horrible if we splash red. Because if we're trying to self-mill ourselves and we mill our only mountain for Wick, that could be a little awkward. All right, lots of good stuff here. We've got another Shoreline Looter. I don't know if I want to. It's a little small. Stargaze to draw cards. Daggerfang Duo as another rat that mills two. Thoughtstalker Warlock as just a generically good card. And Saver as another removal spell here. <laughs> another Intrepid Rabbit. Goodness, the white deck that could have been. Um, 
Currently on 17lands.com at the time of this recording, Thoughtstalker Warlock is like the fourth best card in the entire set. I'm going to take it just because of that. Um, but I think there's a chance that one of the other cards might be better synergistically in our deck. All right, feed the cycle. Got our fourth removal spell. I'll take it. Maybe we wield the Mind Drill Assailant, but I doubt we do. So I will take this. Two mana, basically murder with upside of foraging instead of paying that third black. So we'll take feed the cycle here. So this is four mana to counter a spell or surveil to draw to. It would not be horrible except for the fact that we have so many four drops already. I don't think I want another one. So I'm just going to take the cheap removal spell in saver. And we do now have 23 cards here with 11 rats. Ooh, another nocturnal hunger versus a light shell duo number two. I think I'm going to take the removal again. We've, we've got a nice removal suite followed by a nice rat suite in this deck. So I think we might even wheel a light shell duo and pick nine. It's the kind of card that hopefully should wheel. All right, we got another dire sight to help fill our yard. Two mana, one, three. If you have threshold, you could put a counter on it and draw a card, but you can only do that one time. And then another Light Shell Duo. I'm not going to take this one. We have so many four drops and we might wheel one pick nine. Do I want a random rat two drop? I think I do over a Dire Sight. We're a little light on cheap rats here. We have now two, I suppose three if we take this one, which I think I will. We did not wheel, but we did wheel the Hidden Grotto. I will take that. Don't think we wield the Light Shell Duo, unless it was in this next pack, and it was not. Take the bell. Don't think I'll play it. Wow. That's a third to last pick, Intrepid Rabbit. Sure. All right. I, I like our deck. I, I don't know if it's going to be super great, but I think we ended up with, with a decent version of what hopefully is one of the better blue-black decks in the format. And if it isn't good... You'll find out with me. So I'm going to go ahead and build this deck, and I'll see you after deck building. All right, here's where I ended up. And I'm kind of excited about this one. We've got 14 creatures, and 13 of them are rats. The only one that isn't a rat is the Thought Stalker Warlock, which is a nice value card. We've got 17 lands with a mountain, a grotto, and a banner to splash the activation of Wick, which could be pretty good. Um, we've got one, two, three, four, five, six removal spells here. Card draw and discard, as well as just a bunch of rats and rat build arounds. Threshold as well. Hopefully, threshold can be hit relatively consistency with consistently with this deck. We've got the mind whisker to help us. We've got the duo to help us. We've got the psychic whorl to help us. We've got a lot of surveil as well. So I'm excited about this one. I don't think this is one of the better decks in the format, but. We're going to find out together if this version is pretty decent. Now, before we get into the first game of today's video, don't forget about the sponsor of today's video and of the channel here, Dubby Energy. Dubby Energy is a jitter-free, crash-free, zero-sugar, zero-calorie energy drink that you can uh, stock up on and it supports the channel as well. You can go to dubby.gg, use code DAILYDRAFT for 10% off all purchases. They've got merch, they've got shakers hats, uh, powder-based um, energy drinks, and some canned ones in the flavors of mango orange, cream, and strawberry banana. Not too bad if you ask me. So thanks for your consideration and checking that out, and I'll see y'all in game number one. Here we are going first, and our curve is hurting us a little bit. We have <clears throat> two three drops and a bunch of fours. If we can find one land, we have dire sight to, to surveil into more lands. So I'm going to keep it off of the back of that. Obviously, this could go horribly if we go two uh, turns in a row missing a land, but I'm going to bet that in two turns we'll find one. And if we draw exactly a two-drop rat into a land, we can Psychic Whorl, which would be pretty good. There's a land. <clears throat> Just going to go ahead and Dire Sight, and honestly really hope it doesn't get countered. 
All right, do I need a fifth land and a removal spell? Honestly, both of these are pretty good. Yeah, I think I'm just gonna keep both. I know that doesn't help my threshold. Maybe, maybe I should put at least this into the graveyard. I don't need double blue, I don't think, for anything in this. And we'll find another land here at some point, hopefully. And I want to fill my, get my graveyard kind of close for threshold. Daggerfang Duo will help with that. But next turn, I think I'm just going to play the Light Shell Duo here. And try to find my way to a fifth land. Yeah, I think I just got to gotta try to get toward the land here. Threshold at four. Intrepid Rabbit. There it is. Alright, attacking for four, gaining one life. Alright, did miss the land. What does this do again? Okay, so most mana efficient thing to do is to play one of these three four drops. Next turn, if we draw a land, we can do duo plus saver or something like that. Let's just go ahead and play our rare here, get another creature down. We're going to have to hope that this Moonrise Cleric... ...does not just kind of go the distance here. Come on, land. All right, good. So now we can do Saver <clears throat> and probably Daggerfang duo here. So let's start with this. This gets us to Threshold. Mind Whisker doesn't, although next turn we play Mind Whisker, it'll be pretty good. So let's do... Yeah, let's do the Daggerfang duo here. Choose to mill. And then attack for four. And, and again, we've, we've got to hope... We don't lose too much more life here because... Look at that. End of turn, create a 4-4. Four, four. Like, that's pretty darn good. Another land wouldn't be too bad, so I can go Mind Whisker and Psychic Whirl here. So Mind Whisker is going to be pretty good. See? <laughs> Mind Whisker against 3 one ones. That just... That does some serious work. Ooh, that's also really good, actually. Uh, so let's go to combat, attack here, here. What if we got in with everything? I mean, these things don't have any power. Alright, go to damage. <laughs> you go to five. And I, I could kill one of these creatures right now and then get another rat on my end step and guarantee one here. It's not the greatest use of this card, but I mean... Is it only non-token? No, it's, it's anything. So I can do... this, which will get me another rat. I guess I should have done that pre-damage uh, pre if I was going to do that because the Light Shell Duo here, but... And now our board is pretty good. As long as we don't die this turn, then we should be okay. 
they might be able to kill the mind whisker and then do like a bunch of combat tricks or something but cross your fingers Vren has been insane. It's made two six sixes. <laughs> and all I did was kill two of their creatures to get those. Okay, that should be okay. Ooh, patchwork banner. Yeah. I mean, that gives everything plus one plus one on my side. How much do I even care about that? Probably a good bit. Let's name Rat. And then, honestly, I think I might rather hold up a food than cast a Psychic Whirl. I might even have Lethal here. Not really. They have a bunch of blocks if they want it. But if Vren doesn't die, I'm going to get a ton of creatures here. So let's do these <laughs> and if they do a bunch of chump blocks I get like a bunch of nine nines on my turn okay go to damage wow I'm gonna get like four 11 11s all right um do I would I rather three life or to get both of their last two cards I think I'm gonna get both of their last two cards here that was a little suspicious the way they just blocked yeah and they just got rid of rabbit response which is what I was kind of worried about and there is four 11 11s <laughs> even if we go one and three today we kind of already did it we did the thing. Starting on the draw here, we do have a two drop that is a nice blocker into an anthem effect slash ramp here. So I'm going to go ahead and keep this one. Blue, red. Okay. Blue, red, manifold mouse. Beginning of combat, target mouse you control against double strike or trample. Well, I probably can't be blocking that thing. Down goes Thought Shucker. So would I rather get a nice blocker down or just get more mana? Next turn I could have five mana, but with my current cards in hand, I can't do anything more than just <clears throat> cast one card. So I think for that reason, I'm just going to go ahead and play my creature. Attempt to block them, or at least threaten to block. And the next turn I can cast Mind Drill Assailant, and the following turn I can do Banner plus probably a removal spell here. So let's just do... has a vigilance so it's basically just a free attack here they can't kill it let's see if they take okay so they didn't take the bait so let's go ahead and just cast two five and then next turn for three mana we cast a banner and then we hold up nocturnal hunger as well seems fine to me Or do we cast Dire Sight? Hmm. Surveil to draw to lose to. You know what? I'm going to hold up Nocturnal Hunger and see if I need to use that. And if I don't, I can just Surveil with the Mind Drill Assailant here. So... That's what my plan is going to be. Next turn, if I draw a land, even if I don't, I could cast Dire Sight and then use play Mind Drill Assailant off of it if I hit one land. So. 
both of these care about threshold, so I'd like to get there. So does this. I mean, next turn I might be able to get there. It depends. Sure. If they attack, I can block, and if they go for a combat trick, I can uh, use Nocturnal Hunger. They're still in combat here, so they're thinking about something. Okay, uh, yeah, pass to blockers, and I guess I'm going to use Nocturnal Hunger to get rid of the, the duo here. Probably, based on the fact that they're probably going to use some sort of trick. Okay, so we got the two for one there. Are they going to use another one to kill it? Hopefully they don't have artifact removal. That would be kind of annoying. I am kind of relying on this patchwork banner right now. Okay, we did get two cards out of it. Now their cards are getting kind of big though. So let's do Dire Sight... Oh, the, the mouse is so good, though. I don't think I can put that in the yard. Yeah, the, the mind whisker, whatever. And then, mana efficiency says to do the mind drill assailant here, so that's what I'm going to do... I, I miss out on one Surveil next upkeep, but in the interest of mana efficiency for now, I'm just going to do this. I'm going to have to figure out a way to deal with this thing. It's going to get pretty big here. And I am at 14. Now it's a 5-5. Five, five. They kept both cards on top. That's a little scary. No attacks. And then just hold up Saber and Surveil one here. Can't do anything about that, so let's surveil. There we go. There's an answer to the angler here. And resolves and resolves. I have to go to eight now. We don't have to, but... Oh, nice. Good. Do I want to kill the Manifold Mouse? Because Feed the Cycle is going to kill this and then give me Threshold. So I do actually think I do want to do this. So let's just pay, kill it, and then I get Threshold here. Attacking for 7. This thing is unblockable. This thing makes their creatures smaller, so obviously we're a little bit weak to removal right now. We don't we only got two threats, but they have nothing, so I'll take it. Yep, that's fine. They did the offspring, so they got a couple of creatures here. Totally fine with that. So 
surveil. Um, yeah, that's fine. Because I can now do this and then put a counter on it and draw a card. Ooh, and then we got Vren as well. All right. Look at us going off with rats. We go burst again, and looky here. Mind Whisker, Wick, early removal spell. If they play a two drop, we've got it all. Let's hope they play a two. That way I can save her and kill it. Or a two that I can kill, I suppose. Oh, come on. <laughs> that is one I cannot kill. So let's do this and then mill ourselves here. Oh no. Here goes our mountain. <laughs> and a removal spell. So now we need exactly Crystal Grotto or the banner to activate Wick. That's a big creature. But I can block it currently. So let's just play Wick and then plan to block that thing. My guess is they're going to remove the duo here, but uh, can't do much about that. That's a good card. Although they have to bounce a creature. Like, at the beginning of your upkeep, return another creature. So they have no choice. So that's going to become big. At least I do have the duo to block it. It's an 8-8 trample. Let's see if they even attack. Okay, good. I will, I will choose to block. Oh, it's not trample. Oh, it doesn't give trample. For some reason, I thought it did. All right, what do we do now? Gosh, there's really many inefficient to kill the Mist Breath Elder, but if I don't do it now, I'm not going to be able to. Because it gets a counter. Conversely, I could just play Light Shell Duo and try to get to Threshold here. I've got three cards in my hand that care about Threshold. Yeah, I think... I think I'm just going to play the duo. The Elder's going to get out of hand here. Oh, man. Three cards, four, five cards. I do need lands. I'm going to put one in the yard and keep one. Because I want to make sure I hit at least my fifth land. So I can play, like, Hermit or Whisker plus Hold Up Saver here. So what are they going to bounce? Okay, got rid of their four drop. So that becomes bigger. They can keep like playing that and like getting the trigger, but I don't know if that's going to do the trick. Okay, they they will choose to do that. Four, six, still have priority. Let's see if they attack with it. I, I'd be fine taking four. Yeah, no blocks. The fact that they still have priority is really annoying because if I try to double block or something, they could, they could blow me out. I'd rather double block when I have a removal spell up as well which is going to be this upcoming turn as I play Night Whisker followed by, or Mind Whisker followed by holding up Saver here. Okay. 
All right, what do they kill? Probably Mind Whisker. Draw a card, make a food. Okay, that's fine. You still have to bounce something. Okay, bounced their mana dork creature, and this is now a 4-4. Four, four. That's okay, I think. Sure. I'd like to just get to Threshold now, so I'll go ahead and bend that. We'll do this, and then continue to hold up Saver. I mean, I could attack with my Snail and then use Saver. I could attack with Light Shell Duo, also use Saver and make it a 4-5. I just think we have, like, kind of inevitability in this game. So I'd rather just make sure I don't die in the meantime. This Elder keeps getting bigger and bigger. As well as Tree Guard Duo. Whenever you attack, it gets plus one plus zero. Oh. If it's a token, it gains death touch. Okay, they don't have any tokens yet. But they're about to attack for like a large amount of damage here. Oh, let's get first strike. Oh, that's about to just like smack us hard here. 9-9 nine, nine, first strike vigilance. 10-9. At least it doesn't have trample. So let's just do... Do I want to put something in the yard? Because I can get threshold next turn. I don't think I do. I think I'd rather just chump. Because I can keep chumping because with more snails here. So let's just chump. Yeah, I think I'm just going to put that in the yard. Play this here. And I can get Threshold at instant speed now. So we got a 10 turn clock with the Night World Hermit. I'm worried about just kind of... This little combo. It was it was not too bad earlier on in the game. but But now it's getting to be a little... A little much. Because this thing attacks as like a 10-9 Vigilance First Strike every turn. But I do have a rat most turns to deal with it. Maybe I regret not killing this thing when I had the chance. <laughs> okay. There's not much I have that can actually block that. Let's surveil here. Uh, I, I need that, so let's do that. And then what do I want to kill? I mean, the biggest thing is this elder right now. That That's what's, like, doing the most. So let's kill that and then attack with the Night World Hermit at least. Don't 
Do I want to attack with anything else here? I mean, I can start kind of getting a little bit aggressive. They, they're just top decking. I still have Saver to potentially blow out a double block. Yeah, let's give this a shot. I guess they could triple block my Mind Drill Assailant, which would kill it, but I don't know if they're going to go for that. There's a lot of things I could have here that would make that horrible for them. So I'd rather kill the Rampager here. So let's do this. Do that. Go to damage. And then end the turn and, and surveil. Heartfire Hero and O one. Although, I mean, they can attack. They, they potentially have tax because of this herbalist here. But I have a lot on the backswing. Okay, no attacks. Another saver. Yeah, I mean, that seems fine. All right, go to main, go to combat, attack at least here. I don't think this is worth it. I guess I could get him with everything. The saver really like blows out a lot of blocks here. They only have four total power, technically two total power. <clears throat> and if they put one on the mind whisker, I just don't think the mind whisker is not worth it. Then they're just like chumping everything else or taking like 11 damage or whatever. The only way the Mind Whisker dies is if they double block it, which I don't think they're going to do. So let's just, let's just go for it here. It'd be kind of bad if the Mind Whisker does die, but again, the only way they do that is if they double block it. Then they have to kind of make some bad bad blocks otherwise I'd rather kill the veteran guard mouse here so what I'm gonna do is go ahead and also kill the herbalist because this gets prowess here go to damage You take seven, you lose two creatures. Probably gonna eat their food, go to 10. No, go to nine. Or they're just gonna rope us here now, who knows. <laughs> All right, the answer was maybe they stepped away to get a sandwich or something. Didn't exactly rope us all the way down all of their timeouts, but did a little bit. And they didn't draw anything. All right, three and zero with this deck. Let's go. It is it is providing the synergy. All right, we're at first here with all three colors, all three, all two colors of mana, bunch of rats, and our anthem effect. Uh, let's keep it. Looks pretty good to me. I mean, it's a little slow, but this deck is is pretty slow. 
So what do we lead on here? Uh, I guess the answer is now Night Whirl Hermit. Because it blocks that thing really well. Because the Daggerfang duo would not block that well. I think the, the best thing to do with the Patchwork Banner is, is to play it on the same turn when you can use its mana to get a mana e advantage. So, for example, with five lands on the battlefield, you can play this and also a three drop. Because if I just played this next turn, then the following turn I have access to five mana, which currently can't cast two things. So that's why I wouldn't play the banner to start. I'd rather just play this, threaten a nice block here that can't get ahead on, on damage. Um, next turn, if I have to kill something, I can. But I don't really feel like I have to. I can just play the Dagger Fang duo, mill myself. Actually, now I'm just going to play the Mind Drill Assailant. And then next turn, I can Banner and kill or play Duo. So that's a little bit of sequencing advice for all of you that might be struggling with that sort of stuff. Ooh, there's the Intrepid Rabbit. So we have to take five this turn, it looks like. Sure. Go to 15. Let's play Banner, name Rat, and then also play Duo here. Choose to Mill. Alright, got rid of a discard spell. And another Rat, but that's okay. Nothing I really feel like I have to remove at this moment. A flyer would probably be something I would need to kill. But you see how good the Intrepid Rabbit's already been? I mean... It pushed 5 damage there. And I think there was a game earlier in this draft already. Where it pushed some more damage. Oh gosh, I hate that card. It destroys me so badly. I mean... It's just a huge problem. <laughs> Most of the time. So if I attack with this... And they choose to, like, they're not going to triple block. But would I rather have this back to block? I don't think I need to. Because I'm going to play this and still hold up Nocturnal hung Hunger here. This thing has Vigilance as well. So I think I can do this right now. And still be okay. If they want to start equipping this, I've got Instant Speed Removal that can just blow out their whole turn. So let's go to Damage. Play Short Line Looter. Hold up the Removal. And if I don't need to use the removal, I can surveil. This patchwork banner has been very good in this deck. I mean, it's just like an anthem for our entire deck, basically. Okay, let's... don't think I need to gift the food. Oh, they have Shore Up. I see. Okay, okay, yeah, yeah, that makes sense. That is a problem. I need to draw another removal spell pretty darn badly here. Okay, let's attack here. We get to loot. That is not very good. 
And yeah, end the turn. Okay, yeah, Starforge Sword. I lost to this card twice in in my pre-release <laughs> in two separate games by two separate people. It's just it's a it makes their cards so big. <laughs> I gotta take six again. Not a, I mean I don't have to, but I'm going to. Because they got all their mana up, they got priority, everything, so go to nine. I should have seen that coming when they specifically tapped that way to hold up the shore up there. But, I mean, I, th I think I still had to do it to get the shore up out of their hand. I just traded my removal spell for their shore up. Got the chump with the fish, so... This is the kind of card that I keep complaining about, and I'm probably never going to put in my deck. <laughs> I, I probably should, though. Like, in this deck, just attapping it to a Hermit when I have Threshold makes it a 4-5 or like a 4-7 unblockable or something. Okay, put a stun counter on probably my looter if I had to guess. Yep. They still have another shore up. Yikes. I mean, they still have priority right now, which which means I've, I think it's another shore up, which means I can't remove things. Ugh. <laughs> I want to get to Threshold, but, like, all my best cards are showing up. Can I afford to Surveil 2, Draw 2, and Lose 2? I don't think I can, because I... Like, my, my life total is under a lot of pressure here. Does Vren do much? Like, am I killing their creatures? Again, they've got Shore up again, so I just don't know if I am. I'm going to threaten Instant Speed Threshold here. But this is effectively a 7-7, seven, because seven, they have another shore up in hand. But if they have shore up plus another thing, then I get wrecked if I block. Like, my whole board goes away, basically. But this can be a 3-5, and that can be a a uh, six six. Yeah, here it comes. I think I'm gonna take it for one more turn here. Cause I get to guarantee threshold next turn with the looter, probably. I just hope they don't have a way to push three more damage right now. Yeah, 
interesting game, but the Starforge Sword has turned this around. We would we would probably have easily won by now if it wasn't for the sword, but it has done some work. Because even if I kill this thing, then they turn this into a 6-6. Six, six. And now, next turn, I think they just win. I don't have a way to block a flyer. Because, again, they still have shore up, so even if I draw removal off of the looter here, this is still going to live. And then if they have a creature on their turn, this also lives. So, I think I, I, think I just lose here now. In the turn. Don't have any reach. Yep. I lost a Starforge Sword. I mean, that was the entire reason why this game... Why this game ended here. So, good card. It's just... Just seems so clunky, but it just I've lost almost every game my opponent has played it. Sure. Let's see if they attack with it. If they do, I do in fact lose. Yeah. Alright. They got us. Really close, but it was all the sword there. Well, this hand is pretty slow, but we do have our two best cards in it and mana to cast it, so we just have to hope they don't get off to a, like, super fast start. Okay, that's a 3-2. Almost. Not quite, though. Mind Whisker and Bark Knuckle Boxer. All right, would I rather put a 1-4 to block them or kill something? Because next turn I'm playing probably Vren. And Vren combos really well with removal, so let's play the creature. I just, I don't know if I'm going to survive long enough to, like, play Vren and also hold up removal here. Here comes an expend four. Can't block, I mean, I can. Can't block that, I might just, I might just die here. <laughs> if Ren dies, then I am certainly dead. But next turn, if I can Nocturnal Hunger something and get a rat, That would be great. Okay, so can't be blocked. You don't want to give it to that, because I'm not blocking it anyway. So I have to take at least seven here. Yeah, there's seven. Give me a two-drop rat, please. So close. It's very mana inefficient to do it this way, but I think I just, I have to. Because I get a creature and I remove one of their creatures. So I need to do this here. And no attacks, make a 3-3 rat. Next turn I play Wick, which makes a, a snail that can chump block. Can I get over the hump here? I think this is an important turn. If they play... 
can bring that back to their hand and then give something unblockable again. Oh, they can just kind of like get an extra mana in a way. Alright, interesting. Alright, we held him back. That's good. Mind Whisker. Not horrible, but I think we gotta get more creatures down here. Down goes the 4-4, it looks like. Polywallop, run away together. Oh, yeah, that's cute. That, that does the thing. Gets rid of my 4-4 and make something unblockable. So I go to 4 here. If they can keep bouncing this thing, then I'm just going to lose. Okay, take 3 at least. Do I have to start attacking? I don't know. I mean, at this point, I think it's just like... They're going to figure out a way to give something unblockable enough times by bouncing things with the frogs here. That's fine. Okay, pretty good. Give me a removal spell. Shoreline looter. Yeah, I mean, I guess. And, oh no, they have run away together again. Come on. Okay, I go to one. Ah, oh, they kept it on top. That can't be good for me. If I'm at one and they kept the thing on top, that, that certainly cannot be good. Target creature gains flying, and I don't have reach, so they got us. Okay, so we, we struggle against flyers in this deck, and the deck is a little bit slow. They just got off to too good of a start. I said the, the hand was okay to keep if they didn't get off to too good of a start, and, and they just got off to a start that we couldn't really block very well, so it's kind of tough. All right, once again, on the draw, kind of slow. We do have a play on three. We have a removal spell. I mean... Hopefully it's not red-white, I guess. I <laughs> uh, can't cast that till turn three. I'm just going to go ahead and bin it here. I'd rather an island. Double black. Scavenger's talent. So whenever... One or more creature you control die, you make a food, and whenever you sack things, mill, and then you can bring things back. Sure, let's go ahead and do this. Here go the islands. <laughs> At least one of them. Bushy bodyguard, but they can't forage, so that's good. This thing is a problem if you could forage twice, but they couldn't do that, so that's fine with me. Uh, they can get a food when this dies here. 
I mean, I've got a 2-5 coming. Like, I think I can take 2 for the turn. And then this turn I can just play a 2-5. Which blocks really well. What is that rare? It enters as a 4-4 and gets bigger than that too. Alright, that's going to eat the Nocturnal Hunger or trade with the duo here. So what happens? Whenever you sack a permanent... Alright. Not bad. Not bad. Let me go ahead and play Night Mind Whisker to help fill the yard more and then hold up Saver to kill something if I feel like I need to. The duo can block the Dray Leader here, so let's do this. And if they kill the duo and attack with Dray Leader, then I can Saver the Dray Leader and block with Assailant. That's assuming they don't play another Squirrel as well. That is a squirrel and a raccoon. And that gets two counters now. Okay, okay. Nocturnal Hunger is going to have to eat that <laughs> pretty soon here. Honestly, if they were planning on milling me, it's not going to work out for them because my deck wants to be milled. Yeah, thank you. Love it. Moonrise Cleric. Yeah, I do struggle against the flyers here. I probably should have used Saver on the duo here before it triggered, but I think I'll be okay. Sixth land. Yeah, I think I need that. Actually, what if I dire sight? What if I risk it? I dire sight and then I can hold up nocturnal hunger, but that gives me four extra looks at a land here. Didn't get one there. All right. Cross your fingers. This, this kind of has to go perfect. <laughs> All right. So we can do that keep the land do this and then nocturnal hunger I might need to nocturnal hunger this cleric here I do have three removal spells though so let me actually just do this here And start getting in. They don't have five power to block this, so they'd have to chump with it. I do have a bunch of removal coming up. Draw land. That's great. What does Fountain Port do? Sack a token to draw a card so they can start sacking their food here to draw cards. I guess depending on how quickly they sacrifice things, I might need to worry uh, possibly a little bit. Ah, there goes our best card. That would have been so good with two removal spells in hand. All right, we got to race them now. Patchwork banner. That leaves me four mana left over. Sure. can feed the cycle their cultivator and attack with everything here. Not too bad. I could also attack with the mind drill assailant and the duo and then play a hermit to get my um, get my clock a little faster. 
I probably have about three turns left before this thing is going to kill me. I'm not worried about damage so much. I just have to outrace the talent here. So, what pushes more damage? I think... Doing it this way. Because I could even savor down the cultivator as well. Although, if they triple blocked this, that wouldn't be great, because then it would die. I'm not sure I want it to die. So let's just do two attackers here. Okay, looks like they're going all out, because the issue is when their creatures die... They get food, they sacrifice the food, gain life, and mill me. So, yeah, they kind of got the whole combo going here. Yeah, this is all, this is all doing a thing, gotta say. Alright, let's get an unblockable thing down. can't really cast the Intimidator because it gives them more... <laughs> they want to be sacrificing permanence right now, so like this doesn't really do much. Like I'm down to 10 cards in deck. Oh, come on. They're just top decking really well here. I think I might, if I'm lucky, I get two more attacks. I, I unfortunately think I need to just keep things. <laughs> All right, let's savor. They're going to get two more. They're going to be able to mill me down to like three cards here, probably. Maybe even lower. Four. They can they can sacrifice three foods this turn, which mills me for six. Puts me at three cards in deck, which means next turn... They level this up and then mill me all the way out, I guess. So I think I probably lose now. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I just lose. I think they got me. Let's see if they see it here. They do the math right. I can only just try to attack with as much as I can. I have not seen Scavenger's Talent do the thing, but, I mean, they, they drew absolutely perfectly for it to actually go off here. And the one of the cards they milled was the card that would have, like, ruined it, because whenever their creatures die, they get a, a food. Except, um... This would cause them to not die. Okay, maybe... Maybe I live. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. They can mill me for eight cards next turn. That does still leave me a card in deck. Go to seven, sack food, mill me more. I 
probably only get one more attack here. That might have been my last removal spell. I think I do only get one more attack. Let's see if they drew another good card. Yeah, that's probably good enough. Yeah, sack permanence, mill me down to zero, and then I have to draw and lose here. Yeah, good for you. Scavenger's talent did the work. So I started out 3-0 and and ended up 3-3 three and three with this pretty sweet deck, but, uh... You hate when that happens. You're, you're just cruising along, 3-0, and everything's going great, and then all of a sudden you just lose three in a row. Well... I mean, that's, I don't think you're going to get a better black red or blue black rats deck than the one we just had. And it only went three and three. Um, maybe you can end up with a couple more two drops than we did. We had a ton of removal. We had a few rares that worked with it. We never really did this thing, but the snails it made were good. Patrick banner was great. Um, mind whisker was great. It's just, it doesn't quite get there. The synergy they had, I mean, had that deck been playing against three mice deck in a row they probably would have just um went oh three but they played against the perfect deck for them so is what it is three three we'll take it thanks for tuning in today and i'll see you next time for your daily draft